Hello everyone, I am here today to talk to you about Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. The internets this week were abuzz with news about the name of the new Call of Duty coming out this fall, and also a pre-order bonus. Yeah. So, well, the name obviously is Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. It's all over the place, all sorts of leaked images and posters and all sorts of stuff. And uh, it's pretty, pretty certain that that's going to be the name, that's the way it usually works. And I think at this point, if they change the name, I think it'll be just too late. But anyway, so Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, I think that's what it's going to be. And uh, everybody's pretty sure about that now. Uh, another thing that they say is that Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare is going to be a pre-order bonus. Now, this is a great game. When I was first playing Call of Duty, I played Call of Duty 2, then I played Call of Duty 3, and then I played Call of Duty 4, and I was like, what? I get to level up? This is so cool, I get to unlock things. This is so neat. And I love Call of Duty 4, it was a great game. Back then I was playing it on on the PC, I think. Yeah, I was playing it in downtime at work. When, you know, after after work we would go downstairs to the basement and we would play, play games. <laughs> yeah, I worked at a pretty cool place. But anyway, but that was a long time ago. So yeah, Call of Duty 4 was a great game. I had lots of fun playing it. But I didn't play it online a lot, I just played with the other guys at work. You know, we all played against one another, and uh, it worked out pretty well. But, uh, so anyway, some people are unsure if Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, the pre-order bonus, is going to be multiplayer or single player or both. And that has me worried, because I don't care about the campaign, I don't play the campaign. I think I've only ever played one Call of Duty campaign. I always go straight to the multiplayer. Sometimes I play the Spec Ops or whatever it was, you know, the multi-co-op missions. I know that uh, in uh, Black Ops 3 we have co-op campaign, but I never did get around to that with any of my friends. Uh, so yeah, I'm a, I'm a multiplayer kind of guy. So if the pre-order bonus for Modern Warfare is just the campaign, well then I don't care. Uh, whatever, you know, I can take it or leave it. But if the pre-order bonus for the next Call of Duty game includes Modern Warfare with multiplayer, then I'll have to rethink my whole stand about pre-ordering games because, you know, we're talking about multiplayer Modern Warfare remastered here. And uh, I don't know if I can pass that up. I mean, on the one hand, I don't like to pre-order things. On the other hand, this is Modern Warfare, and I, I don't know what to do here. It'll be a little bit confusing. So, yeah, so it leaves me in a pickle. Uh, I think it was Exclusive Ace that said that he doesn't imagine that the multiplayer component will be included in this pre-order bonus because they don't want to split up the multiplayer base for the next game. They don't want some people playing Modern Warfare and other people playing Infinite Warfare. And that could be. That kind of makes sense. So we'll have to see. So I'm going to play the wait and see game, wait for more information, and then if it does turn out that it's just a campaign, well, I have nothing to worry about. And if it turns out that it is the multiplayer as well, well then, I will have something to worry about and I'll probably make another video about it. So you know where I stand when it comes to the pre-order bonus. I want the multiplayer, I don't care about the single player. But what about Infinite Warfare? What am I looking for in Infinite Warfare? Well, I'll tell you. First of all, I want smaller maps. Um, Black Ops 3 did a pretty good job of having maps that weren't huge which I don't like, but they had lots and lots of medium-sized maps and only one small map. I can think of Combine, and another really hits me in the head right now as being small. I like smaller maps. They're more fun. They're, there's more to do, and it's more exciting. Um, now, don't get me wrong, I think Nuketown is a little bit too small, but, you know, firing range from Black Ops 1, and I think they remade it for Black Ops 2 in a DLC. That's an excellent size. I love that size. Combine is an excellent size. I like that size. So, I want maps about that size in the next game. Two, I want boots on the ground. I know lots of people have said this, and I'm one of them. I'm, I'm not a big fan of flying around. Uh, just today I was playing a game of Call of Duty and Black Ops 3, and a guy jumps way up in the air above me, and I don't, I don't get him. He gets me. And uh, I just don't do well in those situations. So, for me personally, boots on the ground is where it's at, and that's what I want in the game. Three, 
I don't care if it's space. If it's in space, I think that's cool. I think I've been talking about this before. If it's in space, it's something new, it's something different. We'll see different kinds of maps. We'll see other environments that we haven't seen before. So I'm kind of looking forward to it. Now, can they screw that up? Sure they can, but you can screw up any Call of Duty, whether it's in space or not. I mean, just look at Advanced Warfare. I mean, I'm glad that they tried something new. I just don't think it worked out. That's all, you know? You know, I got away from maps, but maps, I should say, but I want to get back to them a little bit. Um, I want lots of maps. I don't like it when a game comes out with just a few maps. I know that Call of Duty, sometimes one series, I mean, one game comes out with only 10 maps, another might come out with 12 maps. I forget what the exact numbers were, but I know that it's not always the same number of maps. Um, correct me if I'm wrong here, but I, I think I'm right. And so I would like the game to come out with lots of maps, and I want there to be a variety. And yeah, so that's what I'm looking for in the maps. Sorry to go back to the maps thing, but uh, I just had to get that in there. Okay, maybe this is wishful thinking, but it would be really nice if the game actually worked. I mean, we are, what, half a year into Black Ops 3, and everybody knows that there are still problems with joining parties, there's problems with lobbies, there's parties with the game crashing, especially on the Xbox One, if what I hear from Bearded Assassin is right. Um, I don't get that many crashes on the PS4, but, uh, yeah, I mean, there's still problems with the game, with the, uh, getting it actually to work. And they're spending a lot of time on buffing things and nerfing things and working on getting more money from us with supply drops and what can they put in supply drops to get more points from us to get us to buy those COD points so that we would buy more supply drops. But they're leaving some of the fundamentals of the game, especially to do with the lobby and getting into games and stuff like that and connection based. Lots of those things are still not fixed and we're halfway into the year. Um, it would be nice if they could work on that for the next game and get that stuff just working. I mean, Call of Duty has been out for, I don't know what generation game this is, what are we on now, generation 10 or so? So it's, they've had a long time to fix this stuff, so I think it would be nice if they actually did. So that's another thing I want in the next Call of Duty coming out this fall. Okay, this next one is not really what I want to see, but more what I don't want to see. And that is, I don't want to see vehicles return to Call of Duty. They had them in World at War, and I just don't think they worked. It's not Call of Duty. Vehicles is about infantry battling against infantry. It's not about um, getting into a vehicle and driving around, unless you're in a score streak. And that's what the score streaks are for. If you want to get your fix doing that, get your score streaks. But the real battles, the stuff that's the meat and potatoes of the game, that should be on foot and so I hope that they because you know it's a new game in a new setting in space and they might think hey let's really change it up here and bring vehicles into it couldn't we could do almost anything we want their imagination can run wild like in the future if it's far enough in the future they could do all sorts of crazy stuff and I just hope they don't I really don't want to do vehicle stuff that belongs in a different game not Call of Duty vehicles do not belong in Call of Duty Okay, now for some small little things, like the ghost's um, little display in the top right corner which shows how you're doing compared to your teammates, and your number of kills, your position. I like that little display. I want that to come back. Um, the pick 10 system is alright, but I want classes to have their score streaks associated with each class so that you don't get stuck with one loadout. And I think Infinity Ward has been pretty good about that. I'm just putting it in here because I want them to know if, if they, by chance they're listening to this. Actually, it's kind of late for them, isn't it? Or whatever. I still want that in the game. Um, what else? Oh yeah, time to kill. Lots of people were complaining that the time to kill in Ghosts was way too fast. And some people were complaining that the Black Ops 3 time to kill was way too fast. Although I don't think it's quite as fast as Ghosts was. I like a fast time to kill have to admit, I'm not the most skilled player, so if I have to get in a gunfight where I have to get five bullets into the guy and he has to get five bullets into me, I'm probably going to lose. So, personally, I like a fast time to kill where if I can surprise the guy, I'm going to get the kill and he can't turn on me and get me in return. That's one of the reasons why I don't like Halo. So, fast time to kill. Also, I hope they stop taking away the cool tools for camping. Um, this is for those of us out 
in Call of Duty Land that actually like camping. I know there's lots of hate for campers, but you know, there's a good sizable community of us that enjoy it and think it's a valid way to play. They keep nerfing all the tools like claymores, bouncing beddies, and trip mines. They keep making them worse and worse and worse. The trip mine now has two counters. Did you notice that? You can run past it if you have that perk in slot two. I forget the name of it. And also flak jacket. It will also counter it. So now not only do you have a trip mine which is slow to go off and if it's on the floor you can duck underneath it. So but it now has two counters to it, which I don't really want. That's the last thing that I wanted to add that I want in Call of Duty 2016 Infinite Warfare. Now this is where you guys get to have a say, please tell me below what you want to see in the game and what you don't want to see in the game. I'm really curious to see if anything that I want and don't want match up with what you guys want and don't want. So please leave a comment below. Rate, comment, and subscribe if you feel like it. It doesn't matter if you don't. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is Henry, over and out.